I say, how are you doing today? I am your host, Lacey G. Soldier Turner. I am here with a great woman today. Her name is Miss Kimberly Robinson St. Clair. Welcome to the platform. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lacey, for having me. How are you? I'm doing good today. So uh, for the people who don't know you, let the people know uh, about your background. Uh, well, my name is Kimberly uh, St. Clair. I am a native St. Louisan. Um, I am, uh, what do you want to know? I am an adventurous. I've done a m many of things, but in this season, I'm, I've created a revolutionary product that's to address mm -hmm. a global problem oh, yeah, called Dog Fish. That. Yeah, we're going to talk about that too. Okay, uh, so, so for the people who've never been to St. Louis visited, you know, they see us all on the news and say we the top oh, five wow. murder rate. Can you tell the people who've never been to St. Louis, let them know how it is? For it. Well, St. Louis has fantastic people because you're talking to two of them right now, right, Lacey? That's right, talk this stuff. That's right, that's right, that's right. So <laughs> it's not all, it's not all, um, what you see on the news, there's a lot of great things that's happening in St. Louis, a lot of innovative people, a lot of creative people, and brilliance is is made and born here. So um, there's some great things. We have great schools, colleges, as well as uh, high schools. I am a product of a great high school, Cardinal Ritter College Prep, as you know. In St. Louis, we always have to talk about that high school thing. So mm, I am, a, yeah, yeah. I, I, let's go on ahead and put it out there. I'm a, I'm a Ritter Critter, Thecklin Emerson born um, <laughs> product and um, two time graduate of Webster University College. My so, alma mater, that's right. That, me too. Up in it. Oh, wow. That's right. Webster University. Yep, yes. Alma. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you know, then you you know what you know then, don't you? Exactly. You already know. Dummies up in here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> See, learn something new every day. <laughs> Absolutely. No dummies up in here. Thanks. So, let me ask you this. Uh, what do you feel about the Cam Gardner thing that's been going on? Man, I, I feel um I feel uh heartbroken and, and and sad for her um and the the great distraction from the real issue. Um I'm not that in the know where I feel very comfortable to to speak um as so a matter of factly as others, uh, but it appears to me to be extremely unfortunate and unfair. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of the weight of the problem that they're laying in her feet is, is actually her fault. Um, I, I know I've, what I've read, what she said, and I know the people who are coming after. I know they've been after Kim for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. The fact that she's still there must mean that there's nothing to get her on. You know what I mean? So, I mean, clearly if she was as bad as, you know, the opposition has uh, tries to lead us to believe, uh, she wouldn't keep getting re-elected. Exactly. You know, she, would, she wouldn't remain there. Um, she is definitely a woman that seems to be about her business uh, because she has definitely stood firmly and rooted in her position where several others, I believe at this point would have crashed and burned. Definitely. So I, I admire the strength of that woman. Um, she is definitely a unique, a unique soldier in the struggle. And I wish her well. Oh, definitely. She ain't on that Donald Trump. You know, <laughs> <laughs> she ain't did that like Trump. Up now. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Um, let's get into your great thing that you have going on. Could you uh -huh. tell the people about Doc Dash? I was reading out on it and so that is very interesting. So can you tell okay. the people about Doc Dash? Surely. So Doc Dash is an organizational communication unit used by motorists to communicate to law enforcement or first responders in a non-visible situation, circumstance, or disability while simultaneously displaying all state required motor vehicle documents. And the purpose of it is, is, to, create, is to create layers of safety for police as well as motorists 
um, through protocols to engagement that respect the humanity of all involved. I know, Lacey, you know, you've been living this life as we've lived and we've seen yeah. the traumatic uh, results of volatile outcomes during police engagement. Yeah. This is no secret uh, to our American existence. Mm -hmm. And um, and so whether you're a motorist or a police officer, uh, your lives are important, yeah. period. And there are a lot, the, the faces of the American driver they're changing. So we've got miracle. We've got the, now we've got medical marijuana. We've got the right to carry. Uh, there are so many non-visible disabilities where people are still working. And so sometimes things are not what they appear. And when you have a split second as a police officer to make a decision based off of one's behavior, sometimes you have the, you can get that wrong. And so what Doc Dash does is it gives the motorist a proactive way of communicating to law enforcement what may be going on. And so we've got uh, in this first window here, it, all of them come with a orange card that you are to write what's going on. I have aphasia. I'm deaf. I need an interpreter. I'm non-English speaking. I have medical marijuana. And so it's a safe protocol to engagement. It's not just a unit, but it's also the method of operation mm -hmm. that will create this new protocol to engagement that will save the lives of many. That is uh, truly amazing, especially, like you said, there's a lot of people, too, with mental illness and, you know, um, and like you said, it'll give the police the opportunity to be like, OK, before I address this, then I know this person is not, you know, well or something instead of going like treating them like everybody else. So. Exactly. Or assuming the worst when yes. it's, it's not. And, and studies have shown that even police are horrified when they make these catastrophic mistakes um, by mistreating someone or accidentally taking someone's life because they thought something was something that it was not. Mm -hmm. And so nobody's winning in this space. Facts. You know, people's lives are being prematurely taken. Um, and in, in some cases, even when it's not taken, the whole event becomes so traumatizing, it becomes paralyzing to people to move forward. So it doesn't even have to be anything as catastrophic as a loss of life, just to be traumatized by the abrasive behavior, um, uh, the unnecessary ab abrasive behavior of a police officer because they thought you were being defiant when actuality you couldn't hear them, or they thought you're, you know, you're being defiant when actuality you you don't even have the ability to speak to tell them what's going on and so from a veteran who has ptsd that could be triggered by the police lights mm -hmm. to um, a person that may be on the spectrum and may be shell shocked by the idea and not being able to process in real time doc dash allows that layer of of security that gives police officers a a layer of protection to mm -hmm communicate in a non-threatening mm -hmm. and seamless manner. And like I said, it comes with the, the method of operation where this uh, Doc Dash unit, it either magnetizes onto the side of your vehicle or over the window. Mm -hmm. The driver's hands are on the steering wheel mm -hmm. and it's just an open display of compliance and makes the process a lot seamless, a lot more seamless, efficient and um, safe. Hey, do you think this would have been helpful in the Tyree Nichols uh, situation? You know, I don't know. Um, I I don't because I don't. There's just been a lot of lot being said as to uh, why that went the way it went. So I'm not exactly sure if you know what could have happened in that situation. But I do believe there's been. I don't know if you know. It's, they, they said over about 600 people not under pursuit of a crime have been fatally killed by police just since 2017 mm -hmm. in, during traffic stops. So this indicates that there's clearly a misunderstanding where police officers, because police officers are, let's just be honest, uh, they're, they're trained to presume some level of danger. And so yeah. they have a split second to get it right, mm -hmm. um, not giving them any excuses. Uh, but this is just a reality. I've spoken with police officers and civilians, and uh, they have a split second to get it right. 
And it's amazing to me that there's not been any kind of upgraded process in terms of how we determine or presume danger in such a short period of time. Um, and so I don't know if in that particular situation, but I do believe that there's been a, there, there were several situations that could have, uh, that this could have helped just the open display of compliance and the understanding of the mentality. I think there's also a, 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 a gap in communication in terms of how police function and, and what civilians, uh, how civilians think they're functioning. Okay. So, we've never really been educated on the thought process of police engagement. We've never been educated on police engagement, period. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've been taught how to drive yes. um, and mm -hmm. we've been taught to do, you know, to get to how to obey traffic laws, but there's never been an education in terms of how to engage with police officers. Mm -hmm. And so we're all very reactionary. It's after the fact. It's after yeah. you've you've mm -hmm. seen someone who's been been harmed mm -hmm. that we're all up in arms. And so Doc Dash is a proactive approach to the situation. Let's educate mm -hmm. children, people, people with driver's license on how to engage the protocols of engagement, traffic stop etiquette. How would you like them? You know, so in my whole, not just, like I said, the, you've got the unit itself, but you've also have the method of operation that teach is, that teaches etiquette to traffic stop engagement. So not just when you're by yourself, but also how to command the presence of, of a car full of people. So I, like when I'm talking to my children, it's not just about if you're pulled over. What if you pulled over and you have a car full of friends? You have to be mm -hmm. able to command the presence of the people in the car. Everybody's being pulled over, not just you. And so we just haven't, there's not been any education in terms of traffic stop etiquette. You know, manners have to be taught, Lacey. Mm. Oh, yeah. Your I, children don't learn look, how to say thank you and please yeah. on their own. And they were like, they were, I was going to ask you that too. Like, what do you think the separation is from police officers and civilians. And I think that is a great point you said, education. And um I think I think that it should be a class where they I feel they should have police officers and civilians and teach them both, you know, at the same time. Because I remember I was, you know, I do my films and stuff. So I remember I was shooting a scene for a film in uh Berkeley on Airport Road at the liquor doctor back then. And, uh -huh. the, and this police pulled up and the first words out of his mouth is, y'all going to have to shut this shit down. Instead of saying, how y'all doing? What's going on? Right. You got permit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think right. the what separation are you doing? Is, right. Yeah, I think the separation is, like you said, etiquette, knowing how to talk to each other and all of that. It's 100. 100%, 100 Lacey. It's, it's, and that's why my, my one of my taglines is, it's the protocols, the engagement that respect the humanity of all involved. Because when you really look at the dysfunction, it all starts with somebody feeling disrespected. Yeah. So whether you, like you said, the way you were being spoken to in that moment, you felt disrespected yes. as a man, as, <laughs> right. as a professional, yes. all of yes. that, you know yes. what I mean? And then they're mm -hmm. talking to you that you, that you mm -hmm. were spoken like that in front of everybody mm -hmm. and the police, you know, if you go to the police and you're cussing them out, they feel, mm -hmm. they, they feel they're yes. being disrespected yes. and they have to take it to another level. Mm -hmm. And so, that's why it was so very important when I created Doc Dash that it represented the humanity of all involved. It, it was it's the shared responsibility of um, of of how to approach one another. And like I said, it's not just a unit, but it's also the method of operation. And I don't I don't think I talked about this part now either. It has an emergency medical information compartment at the bottom as well. I interviewed paramedics to get an understanding on exactly what they needed to know about you to save your life in the event you're having any kind of medical emergency. And so the information in these cards down here give paramedics a starting point to your care, which increases the ability to preserve your life. So it's a three-in-one unit that works like I said, in the gap to bridge that level of communication that's currently not being addressed. And look, and it's, it's great. To, I, I, talk, I always tell people, 
even not with police officers, even if you try to get something done, I'll be like, if you be defensive with somebody else, they're going to get defensive and that want to help you. Know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, <laughs> like being defensive is going to make them tense up and be defensive. That's why I just, I'm always nice. Even when that police officer did what he did, I was still calm and cool because I already know, you know, to de-escalate confrontation, you know. Exactly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to end bad, you know. What I'm so you be the bigger person. End. Yeah, <laughs> it's always going to end bad. It's always, and that's just with anybody. I mean, if you go up to, you know, if you're if, if you're in a restaurant and you start mm -hmm. speaking poorly to your server, yes. would you trust the food that they bring? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Spit all in. <laughs> exactly. I wouldn't, you know, so exactly. Yeah. So it's just it's it's it appears to be common sense, but it's the etiquette to engagement that is currently not being taught. And that's what Doc Dash does. Okay, and this sounds so amazing to me. How far off is it becoming being a reality? Well, actually, it is a reality. I have units in stock right now. You can go to my website at uh, www.mydocdash. That's my doc dash dot com. It comes in two colors. It comes in this orange and black, and then it comes in the taupe and orange and everything, Lacey, everything about Doc Dash was so very intentional down to the color. Uh -huh. Okay. So the reason it's orange is because paramedics told me that that is the color they're trained to look for. So when they're in your vehicle, um, and my goal is my, my ultimate goal, there's, let me just put this out there. There's a few ultimate goals, uh, that Doc Dash is looking for. We want to join forces with the DMV and allow Doc Dash to be a part of the driving test that we learn how to, in addition to them going out and teaching driving school, that they add this, hey, OK, let's do mock traffic stops with Doc Dash and this method of operation. You know, that's one. Also, I want to merge uh, efforts with police officers, as well as paramedics. And let's get a uniform place where to keep Doc Dash. So in the event uh -huh. of a medical emergency, a car accident, the paramedics will know where to look for it. Uh -huh. Okay. I often tell people, this does not go into your glove compartment. I keep mine and my children keep theirs in the window well, I mean, the, the door well of your car, you know, yeah. on your on your driver's this. door, that, that little window that yeah. they're no, pocket was, right there slit. Yep. there we go I, where you keep the the scraper that's also where i keep yep. my scraper my ice scraper <laughs> so i that's where i keep mine um right there and so in the event because uh, i've had to use it once or twice i've never been so excited lacy to get pulled over <laughs> so that i could test drive it i'm so i could use it uh <laughs> And I, it's the town and country's finest, thought it was the best. He was like, oh, my God, what is this? And I was like, I made it just for you. I made it just for you. What do just you for think? You. Just for you. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so my, uh, my next uh, goal is that I would love to be able to have a universal conversation about where we would put these. So, like I said, if someone's having a medical emergency, that the paramedics would know just go to that spot because we're going to tell everybody to put it there because everybody at this point has a pocket on their door. Yeah. And you, you can know keep, what I mean? And you can keep your hands on the steering wheel while they read. Hands on the steering That's exactly it. <laughs> hands on the steering wheel. This is, uh, you know, when you get pulled over, you're going to put this on your card because it's magnetized and, and it's patent pending. Let me just put that out there. So don't try and steal my idea. It's <laughs> don't patent steal pending. it. Yet. Don't try to steal don't it. Don't get yet. in trouble it's, now. It's already out. It's already right. So you can either magnetize this to the side of your car door. Um, if you have fiberglass uh, door and it doesn't magnetize there, it's strong enough to magnetize over your window. Either way, it's full transparency of information. And at this point, there's no conversation really to be had in terms of get me your ID. That's already there. At this point, it's just idle conversation. And let me put this disclaimer out there too, Lacey. Doc Dash doesn't claim any to have any influence or dictate how your traffic stop is going to go. Doc Dash is a olive branch to start the conversation. And if at that point, anything else has to take place, that that's between the police officer and you. 
Okay. So in the next two to three years, how do you see this becoming, you know, great? Do you think it's going to bring the traffic stop uh, violence stuff down or what? Well, my goal is definitely to br to bring some, create some uniformity in, in the way that we greet each other to, uh, to, to bring an automatic opportunity of this uh, de-escalating the possibility of volatile outcomes. Um, because if the police see this and the police have already said, when I've spoken with police officers about this, a hundred percent of them have said to me that they would feel better if the motors presented with a unit like this, it would make the process, make them feel so much better. Uh, and so they've already confirmed to me that the whole layout, this was meant to be handled with one hand. Nobody's going through trying to take their eye off the ball because they, they have to be safe too. You know, mm -hmm. police officers want to go home as well. Facts. Make no mistake. Everybody wants to go home and everybody deserves to go home. Lacey, Definitely. everybody deserves to go home. Definitely. Um, yeah. So it was created so that they could have clear visibility and this would be OK to be held with one hand. Um, so. Uh, where do I see this in five years or where do I want to see this? My goal is to get this to be a uniform, a universal method of police and civilian engagement during traffic stops. The evolution of Doc Dash is a little bit more technical. So my goal is to have, I already have Doc Dash 2.0 mm. um, already created here. And so my goal is to have progressed to be able to bring the next level of Doc Dash to market. But right now we have Doc Dash units available in, like I said, in the bone and orange and the orange and black on my website. Okay. So do you have anything else coming up that you all would like to promote or want the people to know about? Um, no, we're working on having a uh, Heal the City safety event somewhere in the spring. I'm hoping we can bring that to fruition. We're also, you know, inviting any kind of sponsors to help us bring that because we truly believe that it's not just enough to talk about the problem, but we need to bring applicable, affordable solutions to the problem so that we can intercept this volatile streak that we're on and be known for something more than just our volatile ways here in St. Louis. Because there's so much more to offer here in St. Louis. There's a lot more to offer. And uh, I'd like to see that highlighted uh, rather than our violence. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. Uh, just check out the website. Also, there's a, if you go to a link in my website, there's an opportunity to win four free dog dashes. I have a March uh -oh. Madness. Uh -oh. Yeah, I have a <laughs> I have a March Madness. Um, uh, actually, oh, and you can connect with Doc Dash on all social medias at mydocdash.com. So I have a Twitter account, a Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So you can also go on the link on TikTok and uh, sign up to possibly win four free dark dash colors of your choice get it get it so yeah yeah I'm, I'm, I'm signing it up you already <laughs> yeah yeah sign up and let's see where, where it takes us but yeah so just looking to um to expand and get the word out there um yeah and get the word out there that dark dash is here and its method of operation is we're, we're ready to go and i i go to I also don't mind doing pop-ups. So if any schools or community groups um, need me to come and actually talk about the method of operation and traffic stop etiquette and bring units to sell at that moment, I can do that as well. Okay. So I travel with it as well. My door and everything, it comes with me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so Ms. Kimberly, my last question that I ask all my guests. When it is all said and done and you are long gone from this earth, what is it you want the people to know about Kimberly Robertson St. Clair? I want them to know and, 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 and say that I was consistent. That my joy 
was contagious and that my purpose was known. I like that. It sounded like I'm on a card. I'm not on a card. <laughs> <laughs> it was powerful now. <laughs> but now, thank you, Miss uh, Kimberly. I wanted to, you know, it's Women's History Month, so I definitely wanted to, you know, tap in with you and, you know, especially doing something great for the community that I think will help save a lot of lives, you know. So I think this Dr. Ash is very important. So definitely. So thank you for coming on. Thank you, Lacey. Right, no Thank problem. you for having me. And I will let you know when this article drops. It's probably going to drop soon on the St. Louis Argus, so I will be in touch. Okay. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Have a good day. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.